Coming up, we're 3D printing a wooden sword with wooden filament. Extruding wood. It's like woodworking with 3D printing. It's, it's totally a thing now. So we just got this new spool of wooden filament and we're trying to come up with a cool project idea. Becky was like, hey, you guys should probably print Link's wooden sword from Zelda. So here it is. Bamboo fill is a filament from ColorFab. It has recycled bamboo fibers. It prints just like PLA, so it works actually really good on most FDM 3D printers. We use the PrinterBot Plus in this project because it has that max Z height of 250 millimeters, which is really perfect for printing tall things like this sword. The design of the sword was put together in CAD by Pedro, and to create the central ridge, we cut out a slice of the top to project surfaces so that we can create a series of sketches that we can use to lock between them. And that creates this cool geometric diamond shape that's near the tip of the blade. The design files are up on the Adafruit Learning System, so you're free to download and you can modify it to fit your printer. There's also a full tutorial there. You got the link in the description. So printing this whole sword in one go is probably too big for any one of our printers to print in one go. So we broke it up into four pieces. We put slots in the side of the parts that are split, so that'll allow internal structures to hold them together. Just like we did in the Gunblade project, we're using skinny sticks to give the parts internal support. These sticks are inserted into the slots and marked for measurement. These need to be cut down so that everything fits and looks really flush. The tolerances for the slots are gonna vary depending on your shell count, but it's okay, you can trim off the corners to fit them into place. Just try not to jam them in there, and you, you could break it by doing that. So. Try not to do that, it could be bad. The cross guard has two slots that goes near the bottom of the blade, simple enough on that one. To make the hilt of the sword, we're using a 7 8 wooden dowel. This is just the right diameter for a grip, so we're like using real wood with our 3D printed wood, a lot like wooden meta. You can insert the dowel into the printed parts and mark them to get the measurement of the hilt. You'll need to cut it down to size so that it fits your hands. On ours, we actually made it, measured it so that it can fit two hands. That way we can hold it with two hands. The pamel has an opening in the bottom, and that just fits into the dowel. Easy enough, it just slips into place. The grip overlay, we printed this in Ninja Flex, and we used two different colors. We're using grass and caramel, and the change filament option, and that makes this a multicolored part. Really, really cool. I don't think we've done that with Ninja Flex, but it's really cool. It's squishy, and it slips right onto the dowel. I think it's really nice and grippy. When you're done, you can use E6000 adhesive to permanently bond the parts together, though I think we're gonna keep it separate so that we can transport it. It's like modular that way. Using a dowel as a grip is super genius on this one. It's really practical because it saves us some both time and material, and I think it's really cool that we're mixing the two together. So there you have it, folks. Extruding wood of filament to make wooden cosplay props. Again, this is bamboo fill, bamboo PLA filament from the guys over at ColorFab. This is a really great project for beginners, and you can learn more 3D printing CAD stuff on our 3D Hangout show. You can check that out. If you do, you can even get a coupon discount code to get 10% off your order. So you gotta check that out, folks. Thanks you so much for watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so we can update you when we have new stuff. Speaking of which, it's time to go to battle.